Hello, my friends. This is Pastor David Rodriguez from Horeb Baptist Church saying hello to you. I am so excited for all the things that are coming our way. Are you ready? You see, this past Sunday, we started a journey that will continue on for the next few weeks as we're going to be diving into God's Word, trying to get to the center of God's heart and being able to rediscover His will and purpose for us. You see, if we could summarize Jesus' ministry and his purpose into one sentence, it would most likely sound something like this. For the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. Have you ever heard that? Of course you have. The truth is that Jesus' exact words are those in Luke chapter 19 and verse 10. And uh, If we went even further, the first time Jesus appeared in public in a synagogue in his hometown of Nazareth, he went and opened up the scrolls. And as he opened them, he read from scripture the following. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captive and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free those who are oppressed, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. Wow. Some words, some ministry and some purpose. One God, one Savior, one purpose to save someone. Yes, one, one. And that one is you. I invite you to join me and many others as one in one spirit and in one love and in one mission, the one mission that Jesus left us, the Great Commission. Now, If you were with us here on Sunday this past week, you should have received a few items that I'm going to show you. First of all, a 30-day prayer guide. In this prayer guide, you're going to be helped to pray for the one person that you want to share the good news with. And every day you have a prayer for them. Also, you should have received a bookmark. See, this bookmark is where you're going to be writing the name of the one. And you're going to place it in your Bible as a reminder that every time you go into the Word, you're going to pray the Word over this one person that you're going to be sharing the gospel with. Also, you got a prayer card and this little prayer card, it's going to help you share the gospel with that person, have some verses to share, to share the gospel with them and also a prayer to pray with them. And last but not least, you're going to get a card that looks like this, a bigger card in which you're going to be able to prayerfully build and write down your testimony, your life before Christ, the day you encounter Jesus Christ in your life and then the following as you were in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. But if you missed last Sunday, don't worry about it. All of the resources that we have just presented will be available to you. All you have to do is go to our website www.horebnola.com And you will find a link to all of the resources we mentioned for you to print, download, and have with you so that you can come and worship with us. Because I want each one of you to join one of our small groups that meet around the city so that you can get the support you need in reaching the one whom God has laid upon your heart. And I want you to come and worship with us. Yes, all together as one on our Sunday celebrations every Sunday at 9 a.m. right here at Horeb. Well, we will join as one for the one who saved us to preach the gospel to the one who needs to be saved. And also, I want to encourage you, my friend, that you continue to seek one God who came to save us and to be the ones that follow Jesus' footsteps. And as we seek to share the gospel with that one person, you got it? One, one. That's all that we need to do. Pray for one and follow the one who saved us so that we may be able to share that good news with the one who needs him. Jesus, the one and only, is on your side. So come join us. We'll be waiting for you. And remember, we are Horeb.